know, they're really short. Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. yeah. You can convert it. It's, they made them both ways, 24, 22 and a half. So, so, so you can put either neck on it? Uh-huh, yeah. Wow, that's cool. Mm-hmm. But they were 22 fret. The magic of math. The 24-inch scale one was. The 22 and a half was a 21. That's yeah. how it. That's how they were right. able to do it. But, I mean, you had a 24-inch, you had 22 frets, but a Telcaster only had 21, and a uh-huh. had 21. Yeah, yeah. The jazz master only had 21. Yeah. You know, I don't need anything past the fifth. Yeah, we know. So I you about ready to do right. this? Yep. All right. So uh, we got a live stream. Got a, so we got a, got a bunch of people here in the live stream. And that's cool because, Chris, as soon as we get started, we are going to show something excellent tonight. So um, Bobby Dill is in the house hanging mm-hmm. out with us. And we are gone, and now he's you gone. Chased him off. Already. I didn't do that. You did. I did actually. So, so uh, it's Friday, and it's just about time to be done for the week. Um, I will probably come in a little bit this weekend. Okay. Do you know why? Because uh, you got projects you want to work on. Well, actually, because we we got most of the stuff that we wanted to get cleaned up cleaned up, except for a little bit of the stuff that we wanted to get cleaned up didn't get cleaned up. And I want to have everything ready to go on Monday because we start a classic woodworking workshop on Monday. Yep. So um, the first thing that we have to do is uh, we're we're going to start with measured drawings and we've got almost, almost ready to to begin. But so I'm probably going to come in for a little while. I'm not going to say when because people might come in and bug me. So it'll probably be at like three o'clock in the morning one day. And I just get all this stuff, but I don't want to do a bunch of woodwork and get the shop all dirty. So, yeah. Anyhow, how about you? What are you doing this weekend, Chris? I do not know yet. Yeah, gonna have some fun. Having fun as usual. Having fun. Going to a pool party? Not to pool my party. What a cool party! Mm-hmm. You should go to. I might get in the uh, in the horse trough pool this That's weekend. A good idea. It's gonna be a good idea. Yeah. yeah. You know what else I want to do is I want to go to the lumber yard. I want to get some stuff for um, a special project that I haven't really told a lot of people about unless you are one of the patrons of Patreon, then um, then I have told you. But, um, but it's a special thing, and we're going to get started on that right away. And it's going to be a video uh, a project that, you have to be a Patreon member or YouTube Utreon member to, to watch. But I'm going to tell you guys a little bit more about that, not here, because tonight we have something extra cool to show you guys. Cool. So um, do we have anything else? Anything else? We got we shipped a bunch of guitars this week. We did. We shipped everything that was finished that was, yeah. And some people came, and four people came pick their stuff up. Mike's coming to get his uh, guitar mm-hmm. pretty soon. And, um, yeah, so we're going to have a good time. Yep. So, uh, anyhow, when we did the build a guitar and have Dylan wind pickups workshops in May, Mm -hmm. um, Dylan would sometimes he and Leslie would stay at the Flaherty RV park and, um, uh, And sometimes uh, when they would do that, he would come in and we'd have coffee in the mornings. Mm -hmm. And let me ask you, Chris, was that something that you were like, oh, they're talking about doing these ridiculous? Because we came up with some ideas and they can't all be home runs. Right. Uh, No, no, because I I think by the time I heard about them, the only the the best ideas. They were tarted out for. uh, Yeah. Yeah. Distilled from. From those coffee sessions. Yes. Yeah. yeah. There was a lot of coffee talk. Uh, let's take a super chat from Brian Duncan who says, reveal, reveal, reveal. These reveals are super, super cool. So uh, thank you for that, Brian. And it was good to hang out with you yesterday. It was, yeah. Um, but so 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 back to the, the uh, what you got if you... Uh, so Dylan and I would, would talk about things. And then when it got really interesting is when Dylan and Steve and I started talking about things. Uh-huh. And what about that? What did, did that, did that uh, send you into a tailspin? Too? Cause there was no, one time where you're like, well, I can't go to Steve's. I'm doing something that day. So, Oh yeah. Um, yeah, no, no. Um, 
if, if anything, that that's probably the better idea because because Steve's probably going to rein you back. He yeah some or at least at least make sure that that what what your idea is is a doable idea. Yeah. Because yeah. the funny thing about all of this stuff is, you know, anything's possible and we can build anything and do anything. But then you throw a, a, a time limit on it, a day limit on it. Yeah. And OK, what? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How what all do you really want to get done in this thing? So. So anyway, what Dylan and Chris and Steve and I all came up with. I had nothing to do with this one. Was that the May classes were such a great time. You want to change your, you want to change your last thing? Yes. Okay. We had such a great time. We had such a great time in May. Uh -huh. Having Dylan and Leslie here was really fun. Having all the people come out and spend time with us was, was a blast. Mm -hmm. We all, we made a bunch of guitars. You guys wound a bunch of pickups and we thought let's do a special one of these where, um, you come out and build a very specific guitar that Dylan designed and came up with all the stuff and you can come out for a week to a workshop and you can build the guitar from, you know, block of wood and parts to stringed up instrument on, you come in on Monday with basically nothing. You leave Friday with the guitar that I'm about to show you you wind the pickups, you do all the woodwork, you do all the, the fret work, which is more of a thing than you think, because I'm about to show you. And you put it all together and you make something really, really excellent. And Dylan calls it the Batfish. And it's a guitar. Dylan's in the in the chat. He says that he's made three or four of these and he's, you know, uh, toyed around with the idea of making them again. And I said, what if we just had the, the workshop be that? So you don't have to make them. The people can come in. And they get to make something that, well, they get to make it. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's a Dylan design and it's, you know, pickups that you get to make, you get to make the whole guitar. Yeah. So we came it's, up. It's, oh. it's, yeah. It's, it's a specific guitar and it's not yes. something, and this is the whole reason for the, the, the title of the, the video. Yeah. It's not something you can buy. You can't just buy it. Yeah. You it's not gotta something you can. It. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's only available here mm -hmm. during a class that you made. Yeah. So you get to, uh, there's instruction from Chris and Dylan and me. Um, and yeah, you, you, you can't just buy this guitar. You can't buy this guitar. You have to build it yourself. Yes. Because you're so smart. If you guys want to do this, I'm going to say this a bunch of times, but link in the description below to the class workshop page. You can go and you can reserve your spot. And that's on our website, right? It's on our website. There's a link to our website, link to that page on the website. Easy now, Tiger. And um, and you can you can secure your spot. You don't have to pay the whole thing all at once. You can just reserve your spot for 500 bucks. Classes, and you you come here with, you just, just show up with, you know, a, a couple of changes of clothes and a million dollar smile and you leave with a really cool guitar. Mm -hmm. And a week's worth of good times. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so the guitar is called the Batfish, and uh, Dylan is the is the the um, uh, the brainchild behind this. And I want to show you guys all of the cool stuff, and I want to talk about it. And remember, this isn't for sale; you have to buy it. So, where do you want to start, Chris? At the uh, builder. Did I say you can't buy it? You have to buy it. Yeah. Dang it. You can't buy it. You have to build it. We're working without a net here, people. <laughs> so, um, all right, all right. Okay, so this is the Batfish, and I think that this is available in any color you want as long as it's black, right? Uh, I don't know about that. I, I think there there was talk of uh, limited color selection. Okay, Dylan, if you're if you're watching, will you please advise everyone on color selection? What you can do? I would be I would be fine with uh, up to three colors. Okay, all right. So all right. So let's black, start at the dark black and light black. And, yeah, grayish yeah. dark black. Yeah. No, that's not true. So black, white and something else. All right. Let's we'll talk more about the yeah. well the yeah. body color when we get to the body. So let's start at the uh, at the old headstock there, uh, Chris. This is one of the um, uh, the wood, sweat, and beers officially licensed necks that we have Steve at Maximum Guitar Works build for us. Now, 
when you, okay, let's talk about the headstock here. This is the headstock that you get. You'll notice that it has the, the TTG wood, sweat and beers logo on the headstock. It's a, it's a stepped, a stepped headstock. It says, I'm going to, well, I don't know if I can do this. It's got the uh, design by Dylan on the back and yours when you come out, we'll set, we'll have your name on it and it will say, you know, when you built it, it'll say your name and it'll be, you know, commemorate. It's a commemorative piece. This is uh this is a, um, uh, roasted or torrified maple neck with a wangy fretboard. Some people call it wenge. I call it wangy. Um, you'll get hip shot locking tuners. Sorry, Chris. Part of the part of the deal is everything you you don't have to bring any parts. You just it's all going to be included. You get hip shot locking tuners and the button upgrade. Um, so yeah, that's you know that's this part of the part of the deal. Ready to go. Real nice. Now when you get this neck, um, it's unfinished, and you can do uh, you can do some profiling on it. The radius is is done, but the nut isn't done, and the frets aren't done. The reason that I wanted to have a fretless neck is so that we can offer. I hesitate to say this because I know you're going to hate it. I know you're going to hate it. If I tell this, if I say it, Go ahead. hemispherical fret ends, Oh, you guys get to do hemispherical fret ends or as I call them hot dog fret ends. So I can't spell hemispherical, but I have eaten a lot of hot dogs. In fact, we had a hot dog with uh, my uncle Larry on uh, did, um, at Biker Gyms Gourmet Hot Dogs. Yeah, Tuesday. yeah, because Brandon was here, so it was Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah, so um, so I I've done this one already, and you guys will see more of this when uh, when Dylan does his reveal video on this guitar because we're shipping it out as soon as this video is over. We're putting it in a box. There's a label already on it, and we're shipping it off to Dylan like today. Um, in fact if you can just drop it off at the thing, cause I rode my bike today to work. Can you drop it off at UPS? You know, Dylan's watching yes. dude. Okay, cool. So this is going out today. Uh, this is a 22 fret neck and this has all the Gucci stuff on the inside. Spoke wheel, stainless steel, truss rod, graphite or uh, carbon fiber. Is it carbon, it's carbon reinforcing? Reinforce, I can't tell. It's, it's, it's carbon fiber reinforcing rods opposite of the truss rod. Mm -hmm. There are pictures of the reinforcement and the, uh, the spoke wheel truss rod on the website on that link that I just sent out. Okay. So, um, you get to wind a P90 and you get to wind this tele pickup. Um, we're going to be specking hip shot tele bridges. This is a clue on cause that's Dylan it's what he brought with it's him. It's what he brought with him. Or that's what he had. So we're if if so if we can get them, this is a big if. We're going to be using hip shot everything on this. Um let's see. Yeah. Hold on. So your standard control layout, you I guess you could put the you could put the plate opposite if you wanted volume tone switch, right? Um it's got it's going to come with Steve's uh super cool knobs. They're like it? 20 bucks a throw. Yeah. Everything about this guitar is, is Gucci. Um, uh, inserts, uh, ferrules to hold the neck on string through body construction, two piece swamp ash body. So it's not going to be the standard three piece stuff. Everything, like I said, everything about this build is, is the Gucci -iest of Gucci. Okay. Uh, it's going to have this style pick guard. And you'll notice no screws. It's attached with magnets. No, it's, it's, it's just taped on there because I didn't know if Dylan wanted to do anything with it when he got it. Um, the uh, the you'll notice that the output jack is that that kind of cupped one, and it's Frenched in there, which is totally rad. Now this is uh, our our DTF uh, finish. Um, DTF Ultra. The, no, this is not this the DTF. Yeah, DTF. Okay. And, um, and this is a, uh, it's, it's, it's so thin that you can see the grain and feel the grain a little bit, but it's, uh, it's, um, it's, uh, whatever color that you want that you work out with Chris, uh, it's all sealed up and then it has a satin finish on it. And it's really, really excellent. I love this finish. So what else, what am I missing here, Chris? 
Uh, I think that's about it, really. So, yeah, so this is lots and lots of premium hardware. You get to wind your own pickups. Yep. That's one of the coolest parts. It comes with a case, too. So you get a case. Oh, does it? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, this it's yeah. it's not a this is not a, a cheapo class. No, this is not a it's not a it's not the least expensive workshop we have now. That's a bummer. But with all of the stuff that you get, that it, it's it's pretty neat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah, that's, that's true. As Bobby just said, the good stuff isn't cheap. We're not giving away the good stuff. So, um, but you know what though? I, I don't think you can buy a guitar that's this awesome with this much neat stuff on it for that kind of money. Yeah. And especially, you know, the, plus the experience, plus the experience. Yeah, so yeah. Very rarely do you go to guitar center and remember, I'll never forget the day. I'll never forget the day I wound pickups at guitar five, center. Five days I spent picking out my guitar. At that's guitar right. Center. That's right. So, yeah. So I am super, super excited about this. If you guys have any questions, we're going to hang out with you for just a few more minutes. And if you want to see anything about this or check out anything, um, I'm going to put my readers on. And uh, yeah, I would love to hear some questions if you guys have them. Um, you want to you want to oh, check that out? Up. OK, I got it. Joe says it would look good next to his Challenger Jr. That's right, Joe. Now, now Joe's Challenger Jr. has um, the, the DTF Elite finish so oh i forgot to mention this has the kind of this little little cutaway here yeah, a la the uh, probably probably you probably it, can't see it in, yeah uh, yeah none more black yeah so um yeah so uh jimmy asks is it satin or matte finish it is it is a satin, satin. finish yeah um mm -hmm. that's right satin Okay. Um, uh, Shark Air wants to know, can you build one without a pickguard? You absolutely can. As a matter of fact, there is a wiring channel right here that we can omit mm -hmm. if you want to not have the pickguard. So yeah, um, absolutely. You can, since you're making it, you can do whatever you want. Um, and really that's an easy omission to just not have that. Dylan wanted that on his. So this is Dylan's guitar. Mm -hmm. He's getting the prototype. Oh, did I did I tell you guys it's got Lumalay inlay? Uh, you did not mention. So that. yeah, so it's got uh, it's got shiny, shiny inlay. Um, uh, it glows. It does glow. Yes, yeah. So if you're you ever played one of those shows, and like like Three Kings seem to be the worst for this. We're like, oh, I can't tell where I am. And if you had glow in the dark uh, side dots, you'd be able to know exactly yeah. where you were. Brian wants to know cost of the class. Brian, it's uh, twenty four ninety nine. And the uh, um, you can sign up for it right away. Uh, this the first one is September, right around the corner. Um, uh, so, yeah, the um, uh, you can get in right away. You don't have to pay the whole thing up front. Um, and yeah, you get to build this super awesome, awesome thing. And even wind the pickups. That's totally cool. Um, let's see. Sean asks, Are Fender and Gibson going to gang up against Dylan for over this guitar? I don't think so. Um, because uh, there's nothing that is, uh, we're not we're not selling the guitar, we're selling the um, uh, the experience, and you guys are making it, and then you guys can make pretty much whatever you want. So yeah, and send pictures to Gibson and Fender. Yeah, send them as money as you want. Yeah, yeah. Look what I made. Get a load of what I made. A thing that looks kind of like a Dan Electro with a cower neck on it. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. Who's the guy, John? John, what's his face that has a headstock that looks a oh, lot John like Page. ours? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that the um, the stepped headstock feature is sort of the last, um, the last, the final frontier of headstock design. Uh -huh. You can until start you, to yeah, yeah, until you get into the three three tier of Ryan Elias. Yes. Yeah, that was the first place I saw the three tier. Three tier. And then you're gonna start stacking on top of it. Yep. Yeah, Double four yep. or five tier. I have, I have a question. Yes, Bobby. If, He's speaking to the, the if microphone. Somebody comes into the class and builds this guitar. Yep. Beautiful guitar, by the way. Is it possible if they want like a little fancier finish, they could like not finish it and come back and do a, one of your paint classes? You could absolutely it? add more finish to this if you yeah, wanted it to I be would, that's something. What yeah. I would say is, is this is all totally. You can you can do more later. 
Mm -hmm. So you could bring you it back in a class. And, sure. And you, I'm not you, sure how many paint classes we're actually going to do. Those are really hard. They are tricky. Yeah. But you're just doing a body and not a neck. So well, yeah. but we're also, but we're doing the fret upgrades and, and the, the finish. Remember we have all five days, but we only have five days. My man, if you came back for just a paint class later, you'd just mm -hmm. be painting the body. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm and, still not sure how many paint classes we're going to do. Okay. Just so, wonder, cause I know yeah. there's going to be some people who are going to say, can I have a shiny? Uh-huh. Well, yeah, to those people, no. we say not in five days. Not in five <laughs> days <laughs> yeah. As you know. Yeah. Yeah. There's a whole lot of waiting around as you know, for mm -hmm. shiny paint. Yeah. And yeah, a lot of extra steps um, for yeah, 20 minutes to an hour and then sitting around for a day. I mean, and you guys are going to be hustling to get yeah. these out. Yeah. Yeah. Days. yeah. Gonna be yeah. Amazing. yeah. So. These frets are, that's, these frets are going to take you guys every bit of one day to do. Yeah. One whole day to do. Um, they're, they're not easy. So yeah, I, I'm challenging you to, um, to do them. Um, you should have worn a white shirt. I know. Well, all the, though, like my shirt and this, this, uh, kind of, uh, mm -hmm. uh, this almost looks like black leather. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I guess that, uh, you guys don't have any more questions, but I want to know what you guys think of this. And I want you to be watching Dylan's channel because up until, Today he said that his favorite guitar is some PRS thing that he just got. Okay, and I I bet you that I mean this has the little the little thing that he wanted there for because yeah, so yeah, and and by the way, who's HB? HB. I don't know. I don't know. Someone said, "Did you steal it from HB?" I don't know what in the heck that's supposed to mean, but yeah. that person thinks they're funny. Harley Benton. Oh, who's that? That's a motorcycle company, uh -huh. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Excellente. Yeah, the hemispherical frets are are excellent and cool. Um, so Brian wants to know, can we see that guitar that is going far, far away? Um, Brian, how about we save that one for that be in two weeks? Yeah, we're going to be doing the reveal on that one for two weeks. In, yeah, in a, next in, Friday is yeah. going to be class guitars, which is always super fun. And then the following week, we'll show that one. Yeah, and we have a special guest for that mm -hmm. reveal. And I am very excited to show you guys yeah, that that's because kinda, that's kind of like shaking the Christmas present and kind of yeah. figuring out what it is. If we show that one off a little bit, it, it'll be something less. On so, that day. Uh, but, but I, I will allude to this the guy who bought that you know, and you will probably see that guitar on tour. I can't say anything more than that right now. Okay. But it is going far, far away. I know for a fact you will see that guitar in at least photos of the guy who bought it, but I can't tell you who bought it. And I get to ship it. You get to ship it. That's right. So, and you'll get to figure out all the, the various paperwork associated with the, the shipping for that. So, okay. Um, Dylan, a silver burst would be awesome. Dylan must think that he wants to spend, you know, more than five days here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I um, mean, gray and black burst. Yeah. That's yeah. Gray, gray and black. And over silver. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pewter. Pewter burst. Pewter. Yeah. All right. Extra emphasis on the pew. Well, so guys, you can sign up for this workshop and, and make it happen. Chris Hendricks, of course, is chiming in with, oh, man, Silver Burst would be the stuff. <sighs> Good yeah. gravy. It's satin finish. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. I, I think I think the Silver Burst, I'm going to go out on a limb. The Silver Burst is the dumbest finish of all time. Okay. Here's the deal. If somebody wants that, they spray it. And when, when they fuck it up, which is what will happen... I will not fix it. Woo! Woo! Dang, that just happened. Yep. Chris In just fact, bitch slapped I'm, I'm everybody. Daring somebody to come and okay. do it and not fuck it up. All right. And cool. for me to go and, and I'll I'll be honest with you. I'll go. Yeah, that looks really great. Yeah, or, it looks terrific. Well, Chris Hendricks yeah. is what you'll say. Yeah, yeah. that yeah, sort of. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, not quite sure why it's so fat right Ooh, there. But, all right. Dang. Like yeah. How are you going to fix that? Paint it black. Yep. Yep. But we're not going to do that because you want to do this dorky burst. Yeah, you have to leave it. Nice. You can cover it up. All right. So if you guys want to sign up for this workshop and paint a dipshit silver burst on it, I guess you can. But mm -hmm. yeah. Chris Hendricks says challenge accepted. We'll be there watching for yeah. maybe yeah. he just signed up. Let's go see Hopefully. if. 
No, I'm not, not seeing a whole lot of uh, a whole lot of uh, yeah buying. I see uh, I see a lot of I hear a lot of talking. Not I'm not hearing a lot of wallets open up. A lot of clicking. So yeah. All right, you guys. Uh, we will talk to you next week. Actually, I will see you Sunday for the premiere. I don't even know what video that's going to be, but it's going to be wildly fun. And um, uh, yeah, so we will talk to you. Oh, Michael asks. Got my Challenger Junior today. You guys absolutely rock. It's incredible looking. Haven't played it yet, but can't wait to get into it today. Michael, let me Good. tell you. Glad to hear it. Those pickups sound so cool and sleazy and like everything that you play. Can I just tell I, I want can, may I coach you? Take your hand like this and go like this to your amp and then go like this to the volume knob and just drag your amp out into the yard and just just wail the biggest amp you got and just dime everything. Mm -hmm. Oh, except the reverb. You don't have to dime the reverb. No, no. Tune the guitar up and yep. giant E chord. Yep. The mighty First. E. Yeah. First. A super reverb would be awesome. Is it an old one with no master volume? Oh, yeah. yeah. Master volume is just cranked all the way yeah, up. It's awesome. Awesome. Okay, you guys, we will talk to you on Sunday. But until then, if you are interested in this workshop, please sign up. Spaces are limited and they are going quickly. So uh, watch Dylan's channel. We're shipping this off to him right now. And he's going to play it and rock out with it. And he's going to get it all tuned up like he likes. And uh, we, I got to be honest with you. We kind of we're like, yeah, you set it up, Dylan. So, yeah. So he's going to get it all, all how he likes. And, um, yeah. So it's going to be, it's going to be fun. So we will see you guys on, uh, on Sunday. Have a great weekend, everybody. Take care. Silver burst sucks. I hate silver burst.